Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 2 of my playthrough of L.A. Noir. Um, today's episode, Armed and Dangerous, is one of the training missions in the traffic desk, which goes over combat and how it's handled in L.A. Noir. So, um, combat's pretty simple. Aim a gun, shoot it. Um, but, as things are supposed to go in real life, as they are in the game. Um, in this particular uh, episode, you don't have much of a choice but to shoot the suspects because they're armed and extremely dangerous and potentially harmful towards others. But um, uh, a lot of the combat in this game, you're given a choice to subdue suspects um, chase them down and subdue them. If they get far enough, sometimes they can take a hostage. Um, just as just like it's supposed to be in real life, if they aim a gun at you or at someone else, um, you have to make the tactical choice to incapacitate them or shoot them um, or kill them. But uh, so, armed and dangerous has you confronting bank robbers to um, give you a, a short tutorial on how to deal with combat in L.A. Noir. And uh, so, without further ado, uh, it's again very short, a very short mission. Well, you picked the right place, Cole. A city that needed an honest cop like a thirsty man needed water. You'd heard the stories, but you weren't interested. You were here to fight the good fight, solve cases, right wrongs. The force is like politics. There's no city on the fence. You have to choose sides. A brown paper envelope, or a Greyhound ticket to Palookaville. It could only ever end. All units at 211 in progress and shots fired at Westlake Savings and Loan, 1415 West 3rd Street. Unit to handle identifying code 3. We'll take that. It's only a couple blocks from 14 here. Adam calling KGPL. We'll handle the 211. Roger that, 14 Adam. Be advised suspects are armed and dangerous. Roger, KGPL. 14 Adam on route. It's the next right. That's it? We got them all? I think we got them, Cole. Should be all clear. Lieutenant Hopkins says anytime you reach for the shotguns, you're either going to end up dead or wearing a citation. So I guess... It's okay, Ralph. You did well in there. Glad you had my back. Man couldn't ask for a better partner. 